Good morning from Shepherds Valley Homestead. Today is Thanksgiving here in Canada. Um, and we've done our animal chores. And now we're getting ready to go do some more firewood. Um, it's always needing to be done, right? Uh, when you heat with firewood, it needs to get done. And what better time to do it now than before the snow really starts to show up. And yes, I'm wearing a sweater and a winter jacket and a toque because it's only three degrees outside. This is my husband's truck and that's what he was working on, trying to plug a hole. Now, this little girl here, who's looking ever so cute and adorable, you might notice she's got a lead on her. This is our puppy. She's 12 months old this month, miss. But she has a bad habit of taking off. So we have to keep her tied. And we decided since we're working over here, she can come over here and be with us. Normally she's out in the farmyard where the sheep are. All right, here we are. Now, my husband and I just cleared off all the old floor all the old sawdust and old hay and stuff in the duck house here. We are getting it ready for old man winter. There will be a better light situation than that. That will be coming um, here into play shortly. But we do have an electrical outlet here. Um, that runs this light in here and also there is one on the front right there but next Sunday we're going to be processing the majority of these we're gonna be keeping a few for breeding but yeah we got to get them ready for winter just like everything on the homestead, right? So, as you can see, it is fall here. <sighs> and... There'll be three summers ago now that a wildfire went through this area and claimed a lot of the trees that were growing in this area and it also claimed a bunch of trees on this property. This is here. And this is our one of the hay fields. And then there, oh, I'd say about half a mile away is the house. So yeah, the fires that came through here got really close to where our house is but I'm thankful it did not take the house but yeah just seeing this makes you stop and think and get a better perspective of things today being Thanksgiving I am thankful that the fire did not consume the house Lots of others were not so fortunate, though.
Okay, so one of these guys is trimming through the tree. That would be my husband. And the other one, our son, he is taking the limbs off the tree. That way we can attach a cable to it and pull it out to where the grass is cut so we can actually get to it easier. Alright, so. <laughs> we got the limbs cut off and now my husband is hopping in the truck. So is my son. And they're going to pull what we just delimbed out. I'm going to get out of the way. Because I don't know what else is going to come with it. <laughs> that one went much better. Go, go.